The Annotation Tools module in SMS facilitates the creation and display of annotation objects, which can be used to document, highlight, and assist with presentation of data in the main graphics window. Available annotation objects include screen space images, north arrows, scale bars, text, and shapes. In this video tutorial, adding the various annotation objects to a project will be demonstrated. First, I'll import an aerial photo. This image is an aerial photo of a small section of the Green River. Since my image has a world file, SMS automatically reads this file and georeferences the image. Now I'll bring in some topographic data of the area. And I'll change these contours to a color scheme that looks better on an aerial photo. And I'll load in one of my predefined palettes. With an image and topographic data loaded into SMS, I can texture map the image. Texture mapping is the process of mapping a raster image onto a 3D surface. This is a powerful tool which helps with visualizing the terrain. The draped image now displays an oblique view when the display is rotated. Beginning with SMS version 10.1, annotation and drawing objects are now contained in a new module called the Annotations module. This module is marked with a unique folder in the Project Explorer. Annotation data are further organized into layers. Every object created in the Annotations module belongs to a layer, similar to feature objects belonging to coverages in the Map module. While Map module coverages have many different types, there are only two types of annotation layers, screen space and world space. Objects created in a screen space layer are anchored to specific pixel locations in the main graphics window. When zoom, pan, or rotate operations are performed, objects in screen space layers do not move. In world space layers, objects are anchored to a world space location. So these objects are always drawn at their world space locations when panning or zooming the display. I'll now add an annotation image, which will go in my layer 1, a screen space layer. This is useful for adding various images or notes to a project, such as a company logo. Multiple annotation images can be added, and all of the common image file types, such as bitmap, JPEG, TIFF, PNG, etc., are supported. And this newly created logo now belongs to my layer 1 in my annotation data folder. This image can be selected, moved, stretched, and resized. A transparency color can also be set for the image which is useful when the background color of the image doesn't match the background color of the main trans graphics window. I'll now add a north arrow, which is used to orient data displayed in the graphics window. and I can select from another of predefined north arrows that come with SMS. Notice that as the display is rotated, the north arrow will always align with the y-axis. Scale bars can also be added, which are used to provide context for world space in the graphics window.
And just like annotation images, scale bars can be selected, moved, resized. Now I'll add text and shapes as labels and descriptions for my project. These objects can be created in screen or world space layers. In this case, I want to label certain locations on the river, so I'll add objects to a world space layer. Since I already have just an existing screen space layer, I'll need to create a separate world space layer. And I want to create an arrow that identifies a particular location in my area of interest. I can also add text. and edit options for the text such as font, font size, and color. As the same as with any other annotation object, I can select these objects, move, and resize them. And because these objects belong to a world space layer, notice that as I pan or zoom the display, that those objects travel along with my data.